Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to explore just a few of the wonderful new enhancements in the 3D Scene Viewer part of ArcGIS Online. So the December 2017 notes say, ooh, you can now measure distances in 3D between two points in Scene Viewer. It lets you calculate the vertical and direct distances, choose different units, and so on. Secondly, the performance of the layers in 3D Scene is much enhanced. Third, you can place custom 3D symbols in your scene. Desks, furniture, valves, fire hydrants, etc. Fire towers that you publish from ArcGIS Pro into your organizational account in the ArcGIS 3D Scene environment. So for more information, see the What's New in 3D Scene blog from the December 2017 release. Let's just explore a few of these, shall we? This is fascinating stuff. So if I use the measure tool right here, I've got a 3D scene and I'm going to go and have a new measurement. I'm going to use metric and I'm going to go from the bottom of this gully to the top of this ridge. Now you may say, well, Joseph, that doesn't quite look right. The vertical component is off, but no, it's it's actually right. If I do another one just from looking at the, the terrain in this, in this case from almost to the horizon view, you can see the, the vertical components. If I start here and go to the top of this ridge and then go over here to this point, you can see that if but now if I tilt that scene, Look at that, I've got a vertical component and a horizontal component. Wonderful, so what if you're using this in the context of planning a new ski area, uh, citing a power, a set of power poles, or calculating the width and the direction and the slope of a landslide. Lots of things you can do here. At a smaller scale, if we were looking, this is the Cascade Range in the Pacific Northwest in Oregon, what if we measured from from all the way from the Cascades down to the the coast. So now I can see that, oh, now I've got a, a vertical of only 178 meters between those between those things, and I've got a, 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 a horizontal distance of 51 kilometers. Fascinating to be able to do this at different scales. Okay, so that is the new 3D scene capabilities. Let's take it into a different context. I've got some student weather balloon data here in this particular 3D scene. You can see that uh, I've got it tilted around. So let's take a look at it from the south to the north. So north at the top here. The weather balloon actually flowed. This is the front range of Colorado. It flowed from the uh, west to the east. And as it came up to the tropopause at this certain uh, elevation you can or altitude, you can see that the weather balloon actually started flowing or, or moving a little bit to the west for a short distance and then it started coming down and it came down around Lyman about a about a hundred kilometers from the starting point so let's say we took that same set of tools now we could measure the vertical as well as the horizontal component now here I'm using imperial units instead of metric units just to demonstrate the versatility of these tools wonderful to be able to do this folks from this the 3d scene oh my gosh this is great to be able to have these tools at our fingertips all kinds of things we can do here as well. And, you know, you've got a 3D scene. You've got a part of ArcGIS Online, so we could, of course, change the base map, and we could go to do the same thing back here. We could change the base map to something like imagery with labels and then zoom really tight in on one of these things, like, for example, Mount Hood. So here's Mount Hood, and being able to examine these and other peaks, again, 3D scene, let's measure... Vertical, notice again, oh, and this is wonderful with the satellite image base. Notice that line of equal elevation. Ah, oh, very nice. Now I can see 1,694 meters there. If I went over here, I can again see the, the vertical and the horizontal components, and then I could just change that a little bit. So I'm looking at it in the horizon view. Ah, oh, this is just magnificent stuff here. Play around with these tools and teach lots of things with them. Uh, oceanography, geography, uh, human geography, biology, mathematics. There's all, all kinds of things you could do with mathematics here. But you're the, you're the creative educators. You will be able to figure out exactly how these tools best fit with your own lessons. I encourage you to play around with these 3D scene measurement tools inside ArcGIS Online. Thanks.